Grandpa in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima and Grandpa. And today was a very exciting one for Grandpa. Oh, this is so exciting. What is it? Is it something to do with Captain Dumbletwit? Captain Dumbletwit is Grandpa's oh. favourite cartoon, which is why I gave him the poster of it for his birthday. Captain Dumbletwit and the Invasion of the Alien Poodles. It's my favourite episode. I love it. And my sister Jemima gave him a Captain Dumbletwit telescope. I can see you, Grandpa. Oh, I'm over here. And Mum was doing her new hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, photography, the ukulele, knitting. For singing. <laughs> and now, cake decorating. Which is why she'd made Grandpa. Ta da! Captain Dumbletwit's spaceship cake. It's wonderful. I know. It's too good to cut. I know. Mum was really proud of her cake. Whoa! Imagine going to the moon in that, Grandpa! That's what Captain Dumbletwit does, Jason. And he brings back some moon dust. Oh, I'd love to have some moon dust! I'm sure you would. You're not going to believe this. What? what? It's her! Who? <gasps> Great Aunt Loretta! Oh, yes. Grandpa's sister was coming. She makes really weird food, like sausage with sardine sauce. And she drinks green gloop. And she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. Not Loretta. I'll go. I'm going outside to tell Dad. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I brought you some green glue tops. Grandpa didn't want any green glue tarts. He had another plan. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. <laughs> Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Grandpa, stop! Not the plane, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. <laughs> Run for all he's worth. Grandpa, get down. Somebody will see you. Just having a bit of fun, Jason. Can't I have a bit of fun on my birthday? Yes, but can't you have a bit of fun without shrinking? Ah, uh ah. -uh. I want to get into my cake, see? Whee! Jason? Um. Whee! Just pretended to fly in Captain Dumbledore's spaceship. Yes, it really is rather good, isn't it? Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? On his birthday. Oh, well, I'm starving. Chocolate cake. Let's cut it. I'll get a knife. Oh, no. No, we can't cut it without Grandpa. It's his birthday, after all. We managed to get Aunt Loretta oh. away from the cake. Let's play a party game. Yeah, birthday's no birthday without party games. Musical statues, OK? Help me up, Jack. I thought Grandpa would get into his cake when we went in the garden, but... I brought it out so I can keep an eye on it. 
He'd missed his chance. I was more interested in finding out what happened to Grandpa than playing musical statues. If his plan was to get into his cake, then I guessed he'd be out here soon. <gasps> so you move, Jason. You're out. Oh, Jason. Get out. Get out. Get out. If Grandpa was going to get into his cake, he'd need a plan to get all of us back inside. And his plan was to bite Great Aunt Loretta's toe. Ah! 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 Oh! Ow! Me toe! Something's bitten me toe! Some horrible little insect! Ooh. Great Aunt Loretta is always hurting her foot. And we always put a bag of frozen peas on it. Ooh, just you to have some horrible little insect in your garden. Ow! Meanwhile, Grandpa was determined to get into that cake. Grandpa! Mum's coming! Thought I'd better take it inside for safekeeping. Thank goodness she hadn't seen Grandpa. Come on, Jason. Aunt Loretta started on the green gloop tarts. Yuck! There was nothing for it. I had to go. And don't think you're getting any, you greedy guts. Great Aunt Loretta isn't keen on Beowulf. Mm -hmm. And Beowulf isn't keen on Great Aunt Loretta. So he hid under the table. What I didn't know was that Grandpa was hiding there too. But I soon found out. Ah! I've been bitten a little! Grandpa ran to hide and Beowulf ran into the garden. Oh, it was you! Now he got rid of everyone, Grandpa grabbed his chance. He climbed up the table leg towards his spaceship cake. Grandpa, where are you going? To the moon, of course. You know when Grandpa gets into a toy car or a toy plane, he can make them go? Well, it's the same with a spaceship cake. stop him. Grandpa had gone to the moon in his own cake. I rushed into the kitchen and put the lid back on the tray. I didn't want anyone to notice the cake was missing, but the cake wasn't all that was missing. Beowulf has run off to the beach. We're going after him. Can you take Aunt Loretta the peas, please? I was really worried about Grandpa. Maybe he was on the moon now with Captain Doubletwit and the alien poodles. I hoped he wouldn't be gone long. I'd miss him. I have a lot of fun with Grandpa. We play games together. We share our ice cream. We suck up our spaghetti. And I just hoped he'd come down to Earth very soon. I wondered if he'd bring anything back with him. That's if he could find his way back. Suddenly, I saw a speck in the sky. Grandpa was coming home. I'll be right back. I raced into the kitchen to get the cake tray. And raced back out again with it. I was just in time. Grandpa made a perfect landing. Out he came! I quickly picked him up and put him down on the grass. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Grandpa, I was so worried about you. You don't need to worry. I had a great time. Did you meet Captain Dumbledore? Of course. And the alien poodle? Of course, and... Dust. Wow! Oh, thanks, Grandpa. I couldn't have done it without you. Teamwork. Teamwork. We found him! What? Grandpa, you're awake. Oh. Yes. Oh. Good! 
Now we can have that chocolate cake. I shall feel better when I've had some cake. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the matter? Later that evening, Grandpa and I were admiring the moon dust. You're amazing, Grandpa. I can't believe you actually went to the moon. Oh, yes. And when you're a Grandpa, you can have my magic cap and you'll be able to go to the moon too. Hot chocolate, Grandpa. As if you haven't had enough chocolate today. Goodness, you've even got a bit on your ear. Anyone would think you'd been right inside that spaceship cake. <laughs> But one of the best is Miss Smiley's Cafe on the pier. Now today, Mrs McQuiskett had come to do some baking. Oh, it's so exciting having you in my cafe, Mrs McQuiskett. Mrs McQuiskett was a famous TV cook. On my television show, Mrs McQuiskett cooks for the country, I bake cakes in shapes, Miss Smiley. So I am going to be making sunny sand shapes. Oh, lovely. I am going to be making a good many cakes in shapes because I am going to be making the whole of sunny sands in cake. You mean the lighthouse and the beach hut and Mr Wopsy's shop? And my cafe. Yes, all of that, dear. All of that. Oh, everyone will be so excited to see that, Mrs. McWhiskit. Yes, this was the day of the great big Sunny Sands cake bake. No, I'm going to need bigger cake tins. And there's not nearly enough flour here for the whole of Sunny Sands. That's no problem. Mr. Whoops. Oh, my husband, he's going to be helping us today. Oh, well, he's on his way here right now with more flour. And just then the door flew open and there he was. Oh, my lovely jubbly hubby. Wonder wife of mine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mr Whoops is called Mr Whoops because he's always having little accidents. How could I be so clumsy? <laughs> oh, oh. Would you mind passing me the bandages, please, Mrs McWhiskey? <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the mill on the marsh, I was playing the Captain Dumbletwit game with Grandpa. Six oh. extra turn, whoopee! Suddenly we heard... It's Mr Whoops! Mr Whoops needed some big cake tins. Shh! Be careful, Mr Whoops. She's making the whole of Sunny Sands out of cake shears. I think she'll need more help. Oh, come, I can help. Oh, good idea, Josh. Put some of the tins in your backpack. I'll go tell Grandpa. I can't come to the cafe today because I'm off to my flamenco class. Oh, I did wonder. Well, what if I come by and pick Grandpa up later? I'm sure he'll want to see the whole of Sunny Sands in cake. <laughs> the whole of Sunny Sands in cake? Well, this I must see. It'll be brilliant. But... If Mr. Whoops is involved in Mrs. McQuiskit's great big Sunny Sands cake bake, she's going to need all the help she can get. <gasps> Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When Grandpa shrinks, as you know, he can make all kinds of magical things happen. He can fly out of the window in my toy helicopter. He can drive around in my cousin Jason's car. But today, he was going to travel in a different way. Josh! Jump, Grandpa, quick! Mr Whoops is waiting, Josh. Oh, Grandpa must have gone for a little lie down. But of course, Grandpa hadn't gone for a little lie down. He was in my backpack. And off we went together in Mr Whoops' car to Miss Smiley's cafe. In the cafe, Grandpa was hiding on a shelf. Mrs McWhiskett had already baked quite a lot of sunny sands and cake and Mr Whips and Miss Smiley were getting the table ready for the display. Another egg. I need another egg. I'm on it. And Mr Whips ran to get an egg. But yes, you've guessed. <laughs> the egg flew towards Grandpa. But Grandpa pushed it away. 
and into the mixing bowl it went. Well, at least it landed in the right place. Grandpa quickly hid. Oh, yeah, could you just pass me one of those bandages, please, Mrs. McWhisky? How many more times, Miss Smiley? Mrs. McWhisky was about to see Grandpa, so he did this. Mrs. McWhisket picked the bandage up and threw it to Miss Smiley. I'll just take Mr. Whoops into the kitchen to put on his bandage. Shall I get the eggshell out of the bowl? Thank you. What a smart boy. Grandpa was standing in a pool of eggs. But just then, Mrs. McWhisket put some sugar in. How was I going to get Grandpa out without Mrs. McWhisket seeing him? And then in went the butter. I had to think of something. No. Mrs. McWhisket was about to turn on the mixer. Then I had an idea. Oh no! What? What is it now? I've dropped the eggshells on the floor. Don't tread on them. Oh goodness, boy. There's no need to be quite so upset. I'm used to people having little accidents around here. And while Mrs. McWhisket picked up the eggshell, I quickly got Grandpa out of the mixer. He needed to hide, oh. as Mr. Whoops and Miss Smiley were coming back. Well, now, Mr. Whoops, I think it would be better for you if you went and had a cup of tea with Grandpa at the mill, as far away from me as possible. Oh, yes. You could bring Grandpa back with you. I think that's a good idea. I don't think I've ever had so many little accidents. Whoops! Oh, Mr. Whoops! This was a disaster. I couldn't let Mr. Whoops go to the mill to get Grandpa because Grandpa wasn't at the mill. He was here. I needed an idea and fast. Hey, wait! Why don't we make some little people out of icing? People that live in sunny sands. You're so good at making things, Mr. Whoops. Mr. Whoops really is ever so good at making things. Well, as long as he makes things as far away from me as possible. So I took Mr. Whoops into the storeroom with the icing and Miss Smiley came too with the bandage. With Mr. Whoops out of the way, Mrs. McWhisket was able to get to work on the icing and soon the great big Sunny Sands cake bake was on display. There, at last, a triumph. The whole of Sunny Sands in cake. Oh, Mrs. McWhisket, it is wonderful. <laughs> Now all we need are the people. Just then, we came out of the storeroom. We've got the people. Here they are. Goodness me, it's an Egyptian mummy. I went to find Grandpa as quickly as I could. Whoops! Oh, oh. Mr. Whoops arranged all the people. Mr. Mentor. <laughs> Aunt Loretta. Oh, look, it's Grandpa. Miss Smiley, there you are. Oh, Mr. Wolfs. And me! <laughs> Get Miss Smiley and Mr. Whoops into the kitchen. I want to be alone with Mrs. McQuiskit. We can't have her being horrid to poor Mr. Whoops. OK. Well, what do you think? Hmm, they're different. But the cake is what's really important. Oh, now, I've a few finishing touches to make. Why don't we leave you alone to do that? Oh, that's a very good idea. Come along, Mr. Whoops. And off we went to the kitchen, leaving Grandpa to put his plan into action. He jumped off the shelf. Then climbed up the table leg. Where's my piping bag? While Mrs McWhisket went to get her piping bag, Grandpa hid the model of himself and stood in its place. Anyone can make little people out of icing, even someone who keeps having little accidents. <laughs> oh, no, they can't. Who said that? I did. Mr. Whoops is brilliant at making things. Who else could have made such lifelike well, figures, eh? Yes, certainly lifelike. Mr. Whoops is a genius. And if I were you, I'd say sorry to him for being so horrid and so bossy. Oh, right. And let him know how grateful you are for all his help. Well, I am. I am. 
And I suggest you hurry before all the others come to life. You don't want Loretta after you, oh, do you? No, I don't. Mr. Whoops! Mr. Whoops! Ah! Oh, Mrs. McWhisky! Oh. 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 Let me help you up with some oh. whiskey. Thank Here you. we are. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to say sorry for being bossy, you know, and to thank you both for helping, especially you, Mr. Whoops. Your little figures give the Sunny Sands world of cake such life. <laughs> you are very talented. <laughs> no, you're the talented one. Oh, no, it's you. No, you. <laughs> no, really, it's you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> now I'll go and get Grandpa. Come on, Josh. <laughs> As soon as we got to the mill, I ran upstairs. I took Grandpa out of the backpack. Cap off, Grandpa, quick as you can. <laughs> oh, we did it, Josh. We proved to Mrs McQuiskit that Mr Whoops is brilliant. She won't be bossy around him anymore. No, she won't. And it's all because of teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're up, Grandpa. Just as well. Mr. Whoops is waiting to take you to see the great Sunny Sands cake bake. Oh, I, I, I think I'll just stay at home if he doesn't mind. I, I do feel rather tired. Oh, you miss out on all the fun. What's that all over your cardigan? Sugar? Oh, anyone would think you'd been baking, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs>